Hey, I'm Del Shanzi, and I'm here with Super Troy, uh, and we are going over the 304 basic reasons why the flat top is the only unit to get right now. It's not just like comparing Ford versus Chevy, but it's so critical because it's life and death important. So, Troy, why don't you take this first one? Comfort bars catch motor if it falls over under power. So if you're warming up your motor, or if you fire up your motor and it's just sitting there and it falls over, what happens? All right, I'll well, show you. Well, here's a fresh breeze. So under power, the prop hits the ground right in front of your head and it smashes your face into the ground and the whole thing blows up. That's a very bad plan. Let's go ahead and stand that one up. And it's actually easier to just show you as opposed to try and explain the differences, which is very, very important. So if you trip and fall down under power or if you're warming it up and it falls forward and flat top, chuck it forward, bam. It falls right to the comfort bars, which is a super safe, stable configuration. So you could run it up to full throttle and you have all the space right there under the motor to keep yourself safe so you're not getting smashed into the ground. And then of course you have the safety of the cage where even if it were to rock up, which would be very rare, but if it did, you still have a cage that's a hundred times stronger than this cage. This one does not like to stay up. Okay. Also, when this one falls over, you're going right onto your face. So if you have your throttle in front of you, which is this, where'd it go? Over on the oh, other side. Is this big handbrake throttle. So when you fall down face first, you're gonna go full throttle. And land right on the throttle. You gotta talk into the mic here. Yeah, you're gonna go, yeah, go full but throttle. But yeah, basically with the old ancient bicycle brake for a throttle, if you trip and fall down, you end up full throttle because that's the first thing you land on. With a flat top, you have the grip safety. So right here, for one, it's a trigger throttle, so it's not huge stick and clear out there. For two, it doesn't work unless you push the grip safety. So it's just like a Colt 45. You have to be gripping it. So if you trip and fall down and put your hands out to catch yourself, you're letting go of that grip safety like so. And if you let go of the grip safety, the trigger does not work. So you're, it's just a lot safer design from years and years of experience. Okay, comfort bar design for reserve installation. So harness comfort bars reserve detach as one unit for ease of disassembly and cleaning. Okay, so the flat top with the comfort bars makes it very simple to mount a reserve. We actually have the containers designed specifically for the comfort bar of the flat top so they uh, attach very, very quickly, easily, and simply. Plus, by attaching the reserve to the left, it also counteracts the right torque uh, of the engine, which offsets that torque a bit, which is kind of cool. Um, and so that works extremely well. But the big thing is, here you go, go ahead and hold this for a sec, is you can take the harness off very, very simply. There's two clips, just like that. It pops off and then the comfort bars come off. The reserve actually comes off with the comfort bars. So unlike other units where you would have to completely uninstall your reserve, with the flat top, when you take your comfort bars off for packing or stick it in your trunk, it's very easy because the whole system comes off together and then goes right back on. Okay, comfort bars allow for easy travel laying forwards. So if you take your comfort bars off, it makes the paramotor much smaller as opposed to the units with floppy bars that are much bigger. Of course, let me demonstrate what we're talking about here. The depth of the unit is also very important. I love my son. The depth of the unit. So from the frame to the cage, a lot of these units, the cage is 14 inches to 16 inches away from where your harness is. So it's very deep if you look at it from the side, which makes it a lot harder to pack away. With the flat top, your cage is only four inches behind your frame. So the flat top is very narrow from a side version, and when you're flying it, that weight is much tighter in up against your back. So it's one thing that the fresh breeze is so much heavier, 
But on top of that, the engine sits six inches back away from your back. So it really hangs off your back where the flat top, the motor is literally as physically close as it can get. So it just feels a whole lot more a part of you. As well as if you do get rocking around in turbulence, because that weight is much tighter center of gravity, you don't have that tail wagging the dog uh, type of thing where it wants to flip you around and keep on going. So much better in turbulence. Comfort bars allow for easy traveling. Comfort bars rounded on the front to slide during a crash. So not only are the comfort bars sticking out in front of you to catch the weight, but notice they are rounded. So go ahead and push it forward, Troy. Bam. So if you push it and you slide at high speed, you've got rounded comfort bars. Slide, boom, yep, bingo. So the unit slides as opposed to a unit that has a single point or a single bar, when it fell forward, it would stick into the ground, flipping the unit forwards and basically smashing your face into the ground even worse. So like the Fresh Breeze, you have nothing. There is no face plant protection. So that's one of the big, that's one of the big top eight issues as well is no face plant protection. Because you're running around with weight on your back, you're gonna trip and fall down. That's all there is to it. Uh, you run as fast as you can go, you got weight, you got the motor pushing you, the wings pulling you that way. Crap happens. You trip, you fall, you know, you step on something and you twist your ankle, trip and fall down. That's just part of the way it goes. And so you need a unit that isn't going to smash you face first into the ground so hard it snaps your neck. That's kind of important, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's actually happened. One guy's quadriplegic because of a unit like this. All he did is trip and fell down. And as you can see, it rocks up and literally smashes you face first into the ground and it snapped his neck and he's now quadriplegic. And this would like so, shove you into the ground when it does it. The, and it, face would be, it does. Yeah, shoved into the ground. And of course, all the oh. weight of the gas up high even makes it worse because it really wants to smash your face first. We're having the gas low, that low center of gravity makes it not want to flip forwards. When you see we knock it forwards, it wants to just hit and slide as opposed to flip over, where units with a high center of gravity, they want to literally flip over onto your head. Kind of a bad plan. So rounded comfort bars, rounded skids. So if you ever did land downwind or something at high speed, you can slide safely to a stop without any of that weight landing on top of you, as opposed to the unit scrubbing you face first into the ground and then wanting to flip you over neck first. Kind of a bad plan. Okay, comfort bars bend to absorb impact in a crash or fall. Uh, we did also test when we designed it, those things really will take a really hard impact. But if you smash in, you have that comfort bar to bend to absorb that impact. So it's another part of your crumple zone. If you do bash into the side, you have that comfort bar bending to absorb all the weight of that impact. And that, it makes a big difference. Comfort, you know, crumple zone is, I mean, it's proven fact. It's not a sales pitch. That's just obvious stuff. Every car is mandated to have crumple zone. Uh, comfort bars bend. Comfort bars bend 90 degrees without snapping off. Uh, a lot of the units, that is kind of a big issue, is what happens if you do impact the comfort bar. A lot of the units, if they were to bend that comfort bar, the comfort bar would literally snap off of the frame and break the frame. But because that flat top has lateral support and how strong it is and strength of the design, this bar will actually bend way in without breaking off. And so it protects you a lot better in a crash as opposed to a unit that's just gonna snap off and break your frame. Plus, it's a lot cheaper to bend a comfort bar, <laughs> smash in the comfort bar, than to have to replace the whole frame because you just broke your frame in half. So the units that have that single bar sticking out that flops up and down, you smack one of those bars and you can literally break your frame, causing very expensive damage. Okay, large diameter tubing on comfort bars for double strength and less weight. Uh, these comfort bars are extremely strong. These are load tested to 3,600 pounds per side. So we did a load test on just one comfort bar. You're talking 3,600 pounds on just one 
side. So imagine a 360 pound guy to 10 G's, but that's one side, so you actually double that. So the flat top is incredibly strong so and a lot stronger than most of the units out there. So it can basically hold up to like two cars? Yeah, literally. <laughs> it will with both comfort bars. Just one comfort bar can hold the weight of an entire car. It's incredibly strong. The, uh, like the guy from Aviator PPG, he actually crashed and broke his back uh, on a Blackhawk because his, uh, the comfort bar broke off. That swing arm literally snapped off in flight and he crashed and broke his back. And what's really insane is they're still selling the exact same design to everybody else. So here he breaks his back on a horribly bad design and he's selling the exact same design to other people like it never happened. Once you break your back on that design, doesn't that give you a hint that you need to change something? That would seem logical. That would seem, yes. Yeah, that would be the logical to thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was part of the flat top. As we designed it, we went through every incident report we could find, figured out how people were injured or how they died or what happened to cause that and figured out how to try and improve it or address that issue with the design of the unit. And it's made a huge difference because nobody's ever died in the history of the sport on a flat top. Angle of top cage piece allows looking up with a helmet on. Uh, this is kind of another, one of those zillion things you'd never think about. But notice right behind your head, you have nice Kevlar netting. Well, you also don't have bars there. So when you look up with a helmet on, right here, your head's either gonna go through the hole or hit the gas tank or your helmet bonks onto the uh, metal bars. Most of the units out there have their upright tubes coming together. So when you look up, you're always smacking your helmet right onto those bars. So that was a cool yeah. thing with the flat top, yeah? Or if you're wearing a GoPro, the GoPro might go through the prop depending on the GoPro. That's happened, yeah. Exactly. Actually happened. A guy leaned forward because he was looking at his motor and his GoPro went right into the prop on that type of a unit. Where the flat top, obviously you have incredible protection above your head, but you also, next, remember what happens when you fell down? Well now, you have a, you know, metal bars bashing you in the back of the head when you fall down. With a flat top, you have a nice safe netting, so even if it does hit your head, or you smack your head on that, you're not smacking your head on the bars. It was another reason for the flat top. It keeps the upright tubes clear out of your way so you don't have aluminum bars smacking you in the head if you trip and fall down. Come bars bend, 90 degree, bend without snapping off, large diameter to me, two inch weave, upright tubes. Let's see, two inch weave on netting. Here we go, <laughs> okay. Two inch weave on netting prevents more than three fingers from penetrating easily. Boom, so if you put a hand, doesn't matter where you try and put your hand through, it's gonna catch your hand. Now, I saw some liar on YouTube. He literally put his fingers together and he's like, look, you can put your hand, and he like works his hand through. He's like, look, you can put your hand in the prop on a flat top. Yeah, because when you fall down, you land like that, huh? Uh, hello. Yeah, with other units, there's huge. I mean, you just reach and you go right through the netting. You don't even have to try. So big, big issue. Also, flat top, the upright tubes placed in the danger zone to prevent injuries. So you have the dual tubes going up right where your hand would go, because if you lose control of it on the ground when you're warming it up, people normally put their hand or shoulder up to the side. And so you have the strong bars right where the danger zone is. So that's very, very important. Also, if you let go of your brake toggles in flight, they go top left or top right. With your bars coming to the center, notice your brake toggles go right into the open space where your prop is. But with the, with the flat top, you have the two tubes and you have a lot of strength and substructure right in that area. Also, because of the flat top, you have a huge chunk of extra clearance. And of course, the prop is clear back there. It's over six inches away from the netting at the closest. So you're not gonna put your brake toggles into the prop. Um, angle of top 
tube levels. Looking up with helmet on, no tubes behind the head, prevent injury, bonking of your head. Kevlar riveted to the tubes for extra strength uh, and clearance. So you do have, because the Kevlar is riveted on and Kevlar has no flex, there is no flex to Kevlar. So you can literally stand on this netting and that's another one of those reasons it doesn't flex. With most of the units, like this design, the string is just strung through holes. So the string is stretchy, so you can flop it all over the place and break it, but it flexes. So if you ever did get a hand there, you really would go right through into the prop. So there is page four of the 304 reasons why the flat top is really, it's the only unit that makes sense, the only unit designed to save your butt, while on top of being the lightest in its class, the most powerful, and the most capable unit. There's just, there's no reason to get a unit that costs the same amount when you're gonna get a lot more safety, a lot more for your money with a flat top. We'll see you next time for page five.